So today, we learned how to graph proportional relationships from an equation. So in this example, I have a bean plant, and we wrote the equation y equals 3x to represent its height and its weeks. All right, so the first thing we really need to focus on is just the unit rate. The unit rate is 3. What that tells us is it's growing 3 centimeters per week. So to graph it, we start at zero for zero weeks, but since it's growing three centimeters per week, after one week, it will, be, it will be three centimeters. And then after another week, it'll grow an additional three centimeters. So the following week, it's gonna grow another three centimeters. And you can kind of see the pattern here. Every week, it grows three centimeters, so, each time I go over, I'm going up one. So our final graph, once I connect the dots, uh, it's a little wiggly, and I draw an arrow at the end, there's the graph for the bean plant's height. All right? But the second example we did today in class was a fraction, y equals 5 6. And this one was for the radish plant. All right, so this tells us that it's growing 5 6 of a centimeter per week. So it starts at zero, and I would have to go up 5 6 of a centimeter every week. The problem is I don't know where 5 6 is on this little graph right here because 5 6 is really hard to plot. So I showed you something, a little trick to graphing this, and it all comes back to slope and rise over run. So when your fraction is a slope, uh, when, your frac when your slope is a fraction, the number on top is the rise. That tells you how much to go up. And the number on the bottom is the run. It tells you how much to move to the right. So if I wanted to plot this, instead of going 5 sixths of a centimeter every week, what I could do is from this point here, go up 5 centimeters, and then over 6 weeks and plot a point. Up 5, right 6, plot a point. And then from there, continue it. Up 5, right 6, plot a point. And if I connect those dots, this is going to be the graph for my line. Now the reason why this works is because, sure, it grows 5 6 of a centimeter per week, but another way to interpret this is that it grows 5, centimeter, five centimeters every 6 weeks. And that's what we're really plotting here. Every 5 centimeters takes 6 weeks. Another 5 centimeters, another 6 weeks. Alright, so that's called the rise over the run, and that makes graphing equations with slopes that have fractions a lot easier. Of course, we could have done it the old-fashioned way. Five-sixths of a centimeter after one week, an additional five-sixths of a centimeter the following week, but it's just really hard to graph. So, we can use this little shortcut to find the easy points to plot and then draw our line. 